Making your first $1,000 on Amazon is something many people dream of, and it really is something you can achieve if you take the right steps. That's why today we're gonna to be taking you through the five steps you need to take to make your first $1,000 selling on Amazon. And we have kept the most important until the end, so sorry to keep you waiting. Amazon FBA is an amazing business model. It stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. And the basics of it are that you buy items that you want to resell for more, you send them into Amazon's warehouse, Amazon's going to store them for you, advertise them for you, sell them for you, and also send them out to your customer. And not only this, they'll also deal with all the customer service and all the returns. So it really is a hands-off business model, which is why it is so incredibly popular. As other than finding your items and sending them into the warehouse, Amazon take care of everything. So by now you're probably wondering what steps you should be taking to earn your first $1,000 selling on Amazon. Well, we're getting into that fun bit now. But just before that, please do leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the video. And as always, hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications. We post Amazon FBA videos every single Thursday. So your first step of earning your first $1,000 is getting your Amazon account set up. Now there is some work which is involved in getting set up and selling on Amazon. So the first thing you need to do is to decide how you'd like to run as a business, as an actual registered company or as a sole trader. But the key here is that you have to do one or the other, so you must decide in order to set up an Amazon account. Now for most people, the easiest thing to do is to set up as self-employed. In order to do this, all you need is a UTR number, which means a unique taxpayer reference number. And you get this by applying for self-assessment on HMRC's website. Now, if you'd prefer to set up as a company, you need to register a limited company, but there are a lot more steps involved with this. Hence why, if you are new to Amazon, registering as self-employed is probably gonna be your best option. Now, once you've decided your business setup type, you also need to pick your Amazon account type. So you have two options here. We have a professional account and we have an individual account. On an individual account, there's no monthly subscription, but you have to pay a surcharge for every single item you sell on top of the normal fees you're gonna get anyway. On a professional account, you need to pay either $39 or 29 pounds per month. There isn't a surcharge for selling, it is just for normal fees Amazon charge. Now I'd 100% recommend picking a professional account if you are taking your FBA seriously. So once you've got your account all set up, you'll likely have to have a call with someone from Amazon. And this is what we call Amazon's welcome call. You just want to verify your details. So you entered when you signed up, the going to want to see your face. You'll likely have to show your passport against your face. You'll also have to flick through some pages just so they can make sure it's not a fake passport. But this really isn't anything to be scared of. This is just to make Amazon a safe place to sell and to buy on. So it is weeding out all the bad sellers and making Amazon a better selling environment. Now our next step is going to be talking about actually finding your FBA products. But before we do that, we did just want to let you know about an exclusive Profitool YouTube discount code, which can save you some money on your Profitool subscription and if you don't know what we are we are a deal analyzer a deal finder we have an amazing discord community with over 5,000 people in but we'll make it pop up just here it's also in the description down below as well so make sure to take that down if you want to save some money on your profitable subscription so now your Amazon is set up you need to find your first FBA product and of course we're here to help so we're going to be showing you how to actually find FBA products which are actually profitable now as a new FBA seller we recommend to utilize the online arbitrage method. An online arbitrage is where you buy from retailers online. So this may be Walmart in the US or Tesco in the UK. Now let me show you a few examples so you can get the understanding of how this actually works. So first product is on Home Bargains and this one we can buy for £5.99 and look, you'll see on Amazon it sells for £14. So yes, this really does work. We can buy this for £5.99. It sells on Amazon for £14. Of course, we have fees involved. We have competition as well. So you can't just sell on this listing, gonna get all the profit. It's not as easy as, but that just shows how arbitrage works. There really is loads of different websites with huge price and differences between them and on Amazon. Another one we've got here is from the website Natino. So this one's £3.60. It sells on Amazon for £9.50. It's selling on Amazon for almost is triple the price. And then we'll show you just one more just so you can get a good understanding of the basics of online arbitrage. So then this last one I'm gonna show you is from Tesco and this one's a 
little bit different because this is what we call a multi-pack deal. So if we head over to Amazon, we can see a pack of three of this glass cleaner sells for £18.80, but we can buy them for £2.75 each with a club card. There is actually a better offer on as well, but we'll say £2.75 each just to make it easier to understand. So that means our unit cost is going to be £8.25. We'll combine them into one. So let me run you through the actual profit on this. And here we can see it sells up to 26 times a month, makes £2.30 seven profit per unit so not a huge seller this one let me show you the profit on another one as well just so you get a good understanding so this one we can buy for £5.99 and this one's making £2.88 so a nice 47% return on investment these are all products you can actually buy online today now quick disclaimer just because you can buy items for less than you sell them for on Amazon doesn't make them good FBA deals we have to check a lot more data we check price graphs we check the competition how much stock they've got whether the price is high or low at the moment but that's just to give you a good understanding of the basics of online arbitrage and how you can utilize it now as well as there being more to actually find your deal when you are new you are going to struggle to find your FBA products it really does take time to learn finding Amazon FBA deals it is a skill but our best advice is just keep with it, stay persistent, and as with anything, the more time you spend doing it, the easier it becomes. So you have your first products. You now need to get them into Amazon's warehouse, and I'm gonna show you how to do that just now. It's really easy to do, so we're gonna head over to our Amazon seller account. I'm gonna show you how to send in these cleaner mint sprays, which the products I just showed you previously. So all we do is we put the ASIN into Amazon's catalog, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our condition. So to send this product in, firstly, we're gonna add the product into our inventory so we just click new and then we click sell this product and we already know we're not gated in this item I'm going to quickly create an SKU which is our stock keeping unit so we're just going to call this product one two three four five our price we don't need to worry about this too much for now we'll just match the buy box price but we'll change this again later on one in here just for once we put in our SKU we're going to put in our price as well so I'm just going to match the buy box price in here then we're going to come down here and the important one is fulfillment channel we want to be Amazon will dispatch and provide customer service and then we'll click save and finish and we can change all this information later on as well but then you're going to be taken to this page list as FBA so list as FBA and send into Amazon and then you'll actually be taken to the FBA shipment page now I won't go into all the detail today on how this works it's really really simple and we've made loads of videos about it in the past so we'll make it pop up just here if you do want to see the detailed steps basics are you get your items ready in your box you weigh them you measure them you put the information into Amazon you can then arrange a free UPS label with Amazon. You can also get a free collection. Then they'll be on the way to Amazon's warehouse. So now your products are on the way to Amazon's warehouse and we have a next step coming up, which is probably the most challenging step, but potentially the most important. So don't skip this step. And this is waiting for sales. So at this point in the process, you've done all your heavy lifting. You found your product, you've sent it off. Now it's the hard bit, the waiting. Now something we often see with new sellers is that they get in patient waiting for sales and what they do is they start to drop their price don't do this if you start dropping your price all the other sellers on the listing will be doing the same most people will be using a repricer which automatically changes the prices of their listings and what will happen is what we call a race to the bottom where you end up selling for break even or even at a loss so what you want to do and what all the Amazon experts do is don't get involved with the races to the bottom hold your price as long as you've analyzed your deals correctly the prices should always return or you should more or less always be able to sell the items for the price you want to sell it for even if your competition are getting into pricing wars so following this rule you'll always be selling your items for profit but how do you actually grow and scale your business and this comes down to to two main things first one is probably quite obvious and that's sending in more items and this can be done through either increasing your quantities for each of the items you sell or just by increasing the variety of items you sell so introducing new lines and this is why it's so important to reinvest your profits and not take money out of your business because you'll be able to do this much much faster now the second thing to do is to diversify your business so what do we actually mean by this well this could have a few meanings but what most people usually do is either add in new types of sourcing so look at private label or wholesale both of these methods do require a lot more investment but because of that they can be a lot more lucrative as well then you can even venture out the outside the world of Amazon FBA and look to start selling on other platforms like eBay 
or you can even start your own website and you can avoid all the hefty Amazon FBA fees. You're gonna have costs to try and acquisition your customers. But more than anything, the best thing you can do is just stick with it, don't give up. As long as you can ride out the low times, you have a great chance of building a successful Amazon business. So we know that there's a lot of information there to take in in a single video, but this advice will help you grow a formidable Amazon FBA business. So if you think it has helped, please hit that like button. And if you did have any questions for me, let me know in the comments and I can get them answered. But that's all for now. We'll see you again next week.